the illegal wildlife trade uh, globally is worth in the, in the tens of billions. Particularly in, in the Middle East and Dubai, these, these exotic pets have a long history um, of being status symbols. But nobody really asked the question of where did this cup come from? How do you end up with a cup at your home in Dubai? My name is Fuka Posma, I work for Bellingcat and I expose celebrities facilitating illegal wildlife trade on Instagram. I just searched for uh, Dubai Tiger on, uh, on YouTube and one of the first videos uh, anyone will see when they do this uh, is probably from Mo Vlogs. And Mo Vlogs is a Dubai based vlogger and he has 10 million uh, subscribers. And he had a video up where he has lion and tiger cubs brought to his home. He didn't quite explain where these cubs were coming from either. But one interesting detail was that he did thank an Instagram account in the description of the YouTube video. And his Instagram account at uh, mbe.777 was set to private. Why advertise an Instagram account that is set to private? And what does this Instagram account have to do with the lion and tiger cups that were brought to his home. By following the Instagram handle that I saw in this YouTube video, I came across all kinds of posts on Facebook, Instagram, uh, also on YouTube, um, where there were celebrities and influencer types who were posing with lions and, and tiger cups. Um, and they were, all, um, they were all very popular. Some are having to the millions of followers. Um, they are actresses, and models, um, football stars, but also rappers. And they all uh, tie back at this first YouTube account that relates to MBE777. I saw that uh, something shady was going on there. I had to make a, a fake Instagram account and I needed to make it convincing, of course. I got in, there were so many pictures to look at. He was surprisingly very aware of what he was sharing, um, almost as if he knew what he was doing was illegal. And at a certain point, I came across another Instagram account that was posting photos and videos of the, that same interior uh, of the rooms that I saw at MBE777's uh, Instagram account who um, was also, like I said, posting from this location. At a certain point, this Russian lady also photographed another view uh, in Dubai that showed uh, very far in the distance part of a ferry wheel. And if you've investigated Dubai a little bit, you know that there is a, a ferry wheel on the coastline. And from there, it's, it's very easy to trace steps back. That view combined with the blue sign that I saw in her posts earlier, led me to a very specific um, apartment. In order to find out where they were living, I had to do something which we call geolocation. And geolocation is the practice of finding out the geographical location of media uh, online. You might look at details that you see in the distance or the streets or buildings or trees. And those details will help you find uh, the location um, anywhere on the world, basically. By searching for this apartment, I came across rental advertisements where I saw the exact same TV furniture that I saw in the beginning of MBE777's uh, Instagram profile. And that's when I became certain about, okay, I now know that MBE777 is living together with this Russian lady and they are keeping all of these animals inside of this apartment high up uh, in Dubai. I looked at all these tiger cubs and lion cubs and tried to identify if they were the same cub. A tiger doesn't change his stripes. So you can look at the stripes of a tiger cub and match it to different pictures with different celebrities. The unique marking that really uh, showed uh, that this was the same cub was uh, a small squiggly line across its cheek and it had a small black spot uh, right up here. I started looking at other videos where MBE777 was tagged and repeatedly this face kept coming back every time the, the cubs appeared as well. And so that's how I eventually uh, figured out that that face that I had, I could connect it to MBE777. 
Before publishing our investigation, of course, we reached out to these people. Uh, immediately after I uh, contacted this person, he changed his Instagram handle and eventually even deleted his account with thousands and thousands of followers. So I think he really took it seriously what we were investigating. Shutting down the, his Instagram account and uh, really felt um, as if you're taking out a node in this network of illegal wildlife trade. But unfortunately, it, it also feels like um, a drop in the bucket. Um, anyone can go on Instagram right now, uh, search for uh, hashtag cheetah, hashtag for sale, and you will come across accounts that are doing the same. And it's tragic. Why do you need to exploit little tiger cubs? And don't you have any idea of the damage you're causing when you're selling cheetah cubs? We need a cultural change where we no longer consider these animals as status symbols, but as something that needs to be uh, preserved.